Hello and welcome back guys, this is Fiend321 and welcome to another video on my channel today we're going to be uh, just t talking and customising uh, a car that had come in the 1.17 patch slash update now this car is called the Lampadati Ferrara GT and I don't know what it's based off in real life I kind of think it's based off of either a Maserati, an Aston Martin or probably some sort of Ferrari but I'm not sure but anyway it's a GTA car and it's called a Lampadati Ferrero GT or Ferrero I don't know how to pronounce that but Ferrero uh, GT now it's a really, really nice car the only thing I don't like about it is the back the back is really really tall for some reason it just it just doesn't look right like the front of the car looks amazing but the back of it is just ew. Uh, so that's the one of the reasons why I didn't buy this car in GT online and talking about GT online this car cost four hundred thousand dollars in gt online that is completely not worth it for this car but rockstar want money for the dlcs but after all these dlcs are free so we can't exactly complain about the the prices for the cars but the the car is really nice and when i went into the los santos customs i did all the upgrades and then when i had a look at which sort of upgrades were left there were absolutely no Pacific updates to this, uh, not up, up, updates, Pacific upgrades to this car. There are absolutely no Pacific upgrades to this car. It's like, come on, at least allow me to put a spoiler on it, allow me to put like a, a, a carbon hood on or something like that, or maybe some flared wheel arches, but there's absolutely nothing. And uh, what I don't understand is that Rockstar prices this at four hundred thousand pounds and it doesn't even have any custom upgrades specific to this vehicle i think that was kind of uh, a rip off what rockstar has done with us uh, here but we can't exactly complain the color i went with was uh, a cream i wanted it to be i wanted it to be kind of light i don't want it to go just too over the top and i put the stripe down the middle well it wasn't exactly a stripe it was a secondary color and i put that as a slightly darker color i kind of like that combination and i did every other upgrade so there's not much of a car customization here it's just a car that costs four hundred thousand dollars in gta online and doesn't even have any custom upgrades i know this was a bit of a rant but that's all i've got for this video guys if there were actually some actual custom upgrades to put on this car and there was actually something to talk about i might have made this video a little bit longer but that's all i've got for this video guys i just wanted to show off the car to you guys so hope you enjoy like and subscribe i will see you in the next video adios